Yo, 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 my people, what's up? This is Sars on the Deck, aka Beats by Sars, and you're watching Rabbit Lake. Keep it locked. You know, I wasn't going to say anything, but I fortunately I came early and I was able to hear some things going on. It seems like you guys are about to come out with some crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Working, working every day, you know, that's what we do. That's what I live for. Yeah. So let me backtrack for a second. First of all, SARS, where did you get that name from? Um, It's a figure of speech. Um, um, how my beats tend to spread like the SARS virus. Yeah, and also my name's Society, and so mm -hmm. yeah, it just came from that mix. So, which idea came first? Was it from your last name, or was it from the SARS virus? That's why I said it came from the mix. Like, <laughs> I can't remember, but hey, I'm SARS right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so when exactly did you get into music? Professionally in 2007. Okay. So, I've been producing for nine years now. And that means in 2007, you just essentially just jumped straight into the industry. Like, how was that? Were you networking before it? Or because you were coming out with like hit singles and everything, producing for people since 2007. Yeah, yeah. at that point, work was just speaking for me. And every artist I met wanted to work with me because my beats were amazing. I'm not trying to, you know, blow my horns, but it's just what it is. And so. I work with this person and it's going to be like, he's going to tell like two or three, three other artists. I'm like, this guy is really fire, you should work with him and stuff. And you know, here I am today. Just kept going on, on and on like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you are a middle child. Yes. And a lot of times they say sometimes the middle child can be the problem child. Did you ever feel like that was the case? Because I'm technically a middle child and like, when I was younger, I wasn't exactly the perfect example. So does that, is that something that you relate to? Family, I think I'm a problem child. <laughs> I actually am, yeah, but I, I turned out great, you know, so, you know, let's forget the past. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Were your parents always supportive of your, you venturing into the music industry? My mom, yes, but my dad, no, like, I went through a lot to convince my dad just what I wanted to do, yeah. But, you know, I guess if you, you're successful at anything you do, your parents will support you eventually. I guess right. he was just trying to, you know, make Based sure my book. yeah, make sure my future was good and everything, <laughs> but you know, this is what I want to do, so I don't see myself doing anything else. So, you know, my backs were against the wall and I had to prove to him that I can really do this. Yeah. And what is your most favorite thing about the music industry? Or your least favorite. So let's do most and least favorite. My most favorite thing about it is the fact that I, I work and it doesn't feel like work like what people do for fun. What people like leave work to do for fun is what I do for a living. Right. Yeah, so it's really great. Like I can do whatever I want to do and I'm always happy all the time doing it. So and my least favorite thing about it, hmm, I have to think about this. Um it's how fake the, in the people in the industry are. Right. Yeah. So. And you hear that a lot. Yeah. It's how fake they are. Everybody just trying to fake it to make it. So there's no. It's hard to find real ones. So it's just frustrating. One of the themes right now on Raw Relay is never give up. And when you do feel like giving up, remember why you started. Has there been a moment where you were just like, "Why am I doing this? I don't know if I should continue doing this." And how were you able to overcome it if you have experienced that? Every now and then I'm always thinking to myself, like, why are you doing this? You know, sometimes you try to do stuff and you don't get the results you're actually looking for. And it feels like maybe you're doing the wrong thing or maybe you should be doing something else. And I start to think to myself, maybe I'm not supposed to make music. But then again, I think about things I've done. I go on Twitter, I see how people want to be like me. People tell me I'm their mentor. So, you know. Because of that, I will never give up and it's like yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. a motivation and you know, I just keep going forward and you know the next thing, something big happens and you know, I climb a step further and yeah, yeah so that's what it is. So I'm going to step a second away from the music industry and go into something else because you know, I was like online and everything on Instagram and Twitter and I mean, I noticed that like you have a six pack or whatever, so how do you keep in shape? 
when you're always in the studio? Like, do you like work out half of the time? Work out in the studio? Like, what's going on? <laughs> I work out every day. Like, mm -hmm. when I wake up, that's the first thing I do. You know, I pray. Of course. Then I go to the gym. I spend like two, three hours. Then I come two, back. Two, three hours. Yeah, I go very early. Like, probably like. What is the typical stars workout then? Because what are you doing for two, three hours? Man. <laughs> Everything, everything I need to do. Like I have a trainer and he's really intense. Like oh. he's yeah. So everything I need to do, and even even if I finish early, I'll probably just chill for a bit for my friends to finish. So we'll just all go home together, and then you know from there I go to the studio. Right. So I I work out like every day except weekends. So, yeah. Back to the music. Mm -hmm. I noticed that you've been in the U.S. for a while, chilling. Not chilling, actually. You've been working, hustling. And I noticed you were in L.A. And everything, and there was a couple of pictures of you in the studio with Jadena. What's going on with that? Can we expect a collaboration? Definitely. Yeah, he's working on stuff. I was in the studio with Jadena, with Wizkid, and DJ Maparisa. Oh, we're okay. definitely, yeah, we're definitely working on stuff, and you know, in due time, you would know. <laughs> That's exciting because I actually um, interviewed Jadena, and he had told me about Wizkid and him working on something, and now to know that you're the one who's actually going to be producing it. That's Dope. So that means are we expect we're gonna be expecting it soon then, right? Yeah, when he comes out, comes out. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely didn't answer that question, but it's cool. It's cool. When he comes out, it comes out. So you know, just wait for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So who else are you working with out here? Because I know you have to be working with some people with you staying out here. Um, uh, thing is, I don't really like to talk about upcoming projects because you know it takes the surprise element away so i like to surprise people to just let them know oh this is what's going on i don't like to talk much i just right. like to show people yeah i think that's 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 how i am so if i tell you who i'm working with now there's nothing to expect so i'll just keep you guys expecting keep you guys guessing i mean no that's not necessarily true because you could be working with somebody but it's that song that comes out like now like you're people are going to be anticipating it. They're going to be like, yo, that song's really about to come out. So now they're like waiting for it anxiously. <sighs> um, <laughs> okay, there's a song by Whiskey featuring Chris Brown. Yeah. It's going to come out soon. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wait, so you guys have been working seriously out here? Of course. Of course. <laughs> what do you think we came here to do? We did come here to play. Of course. Yeah, so there's a song by Whiskey featuring Chris Brown coming out soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It should be coming out this summer. It's top five producers that are like your favorite producers anywhere in the world so it's not only limited to nigeria but anywhere and of course i know number one is yourself but who else is included top, if you have two top five producers i listen to obviously i'm not it's going to be in that list because i'm in a different <laughs> different space anyway um in no particular order um i like diplo a lot yeah, um, I like DJ Kublan. Um, and the thing is, that might change. It just depends on what's going on now. Like, right. I like what DJ Kublan is doing right now. I like what mm -hmm. Diplo is doing right now. Um, also, like, um, one of my all time favorites is Timberland. Um, Timberland. Yeah. Yeah, and um, Stargate. Yeah, I know that's four. I can't think of the fifth one, but you know who you are. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this question might take a little bit more thinking, mm -hmm. but when someone says, "Who is SARS?" Who is he? SARS is a creative person that thinks out of the box and does what he wants, regardless of what people say. So he is not he is not the one to follow trends. You know, so it's just us. So yeah. That's a good answer. So now we're gonna shift away from the more like I guess serious questions and we're gonna go into a game. The game is called Name That Song. So I'm gonna give you lyrics and you have to name the song. So we're sticking probably more so to Afrobeats just because those are some of my favorite songs. Okay. Okay, so when I say, I guess when I say the lyric, you have to say the name of the song and the artist who sings it. Ready? Yeah. Okay. You don't have that much time, so you can't be like, mm, ah. Uh. <laughs> Me? Okay. So, 
first song. Oh yeah, Shaka Tibobo. That's too easy. Next. <laughs> no, you have to say it. Next. We all know that. I don't even have to. Ask okay. <laughs> My woman. I'm not doing this game. It's too yes, easy. you are. It's easy. Come on. It's not that easy. That's my woman. Some of them are. Okay. Bye. I don't get to let. Really? I <laughs> just do really? it. Really? <laughs> Curry the Bello, Godwin. Maybe this game is too easy because you're a producer. Because some people get stumbled on these. Really? Yeah. Come on. Like, it's too easy. Okay. Mm hmm. Mommy, me, or oh, see me, like. Come on. You know that one? <laughs> That's Kondo, that green. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like all of these are going to be easy for you then. Yeah, okay. Okay. See, this is becoming too easy for you. I don't, like, you're supposed to be stumbled on some of these. Okay. Okay. Well then, okay, why don't we reverse it? Why don't you tell me some lyrics and maybe I'll be able to guess it? Because I feel like this is too easy. I see Miami. Sing a little bit more. As a ratty fool, yeah, woo me. Um, I know, it's, I know it's whiskey, right? But um, you feel? No. <laughs> I know it's whiskey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it expensive shit? Nope. No. Okay. What song was it? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. I should know that. Yeah. Fine, I'll give it to you later. It's oh, a trophy. Really? It's, it's no, it's like a huge trophy, but it was too heavy, obviously, to carry in here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. How heavy? It was maybe like 20 pounds. No, so you can carry 20 pounds. Well, I just had a lot in my hands, so I wasn't able to carry it all. You know. I see. No problem. I'll get you later. <laughs> okay, so a little bit more about yourself. What are your favorite things to do, like hobbies and things of that nature? I like to chill. If I'm not working, I like to listen to music or watch movies, you know, hang out with friends. Um, I don't like to read books. No. You know, but I, I like to, I, I listen to ebooks, but I don't know. I don't like to read. Oh, that's different. I never really meet people that listen to ebooks. Yeah. Like, what's the last ebook you listen to? The Outliers. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh, you thought I was joking. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, son. <laughs> no, that's so dumb. It was a pleasure interviewing you. I definitely learned a lot of new things and I know your fans are gonna be so excited finding out about these new projects you're working on. How else can they reach you? If they wanna reach you and the other people and the new fans that you're about to get, how can they reach you? Your social media, website, what's up? Yeah, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, and it's Beats by Sars. That's B-E-A-T-S-B-Y-S-A-R-Z on those three platforms. And if you're trying to send me music or you want to get in contact with me, um, send an email to booksars at gmail.com. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right, it's Rara Lay and Sars signing out. <laughs>